Hi, my name is Greg McMullen. I'm a partnership officer with the Command and Oma Policing and Community Safety Partnership and one of my responsibilities is crime prevention. With this in mind, I'd like to talk to you today about scams. And you might think, oh, I'm not going to be scammed. I don't have access to the internet or I don't have Wi-Fi. But in actual fact, a lot of scams don't actually happen online. They happen either over the phone or actually uh, at your doorstep. And today what I'd like to talk to you about is cold calling. Basically, cold calling is a solicitation of business from potential customers who have had no prior contact with a salesperson. In other words, somebody lands at your door without um, phoning you or writing to you in advance. Basically, it's an attempt to convince some of our customers to purchase the salesperson's project, product or service. Technically, cold calling is not illegal. However, any trader who ignores a, not a notice on your door stating that you do not want to receive calls may be committing a criminal offence. So we're encouraging people to use our no cold caller signs. Um, co any trader who um, ignores a request or a sticker such as that one uh, on your door um, could potentially be committing a criminal, criminal offence. If, um, basically, if somebody is at your door and refuses to leave, basically you need to call the police. This is a criminal offence because they are trespassing. So you need to ring the police on 999. Um, basically, callers at your door can be basically separated into two particular um, identities. Basically, there's bogus callers and there's rogue traders. Uh, basically, bogus callers has been a major problem in a lot of areas. And basically, they, they might pretend to be from utility pro suppliers or from other reputable organisations. It could be pretend to be from the road service, the council, the BT, whatever. Uh, basically, what they're trying to do is get into your property. Uh, once they've accessed your property, they will try and steal uh, your valuables. Um, other things to watch out for are road traders. Basically, what they do is they will try and talk uh, a householder maybe into paying for uh, the services they are offering. Quite often they're unqualified to do the particular work or they'll do either a shoddy job or not do the job at all and run, take the money and disappear. Um, in target in this way has a bit pr profound effect on a lot of people and um, we, we, we would prefer that people d d it doesn't happen. Callers should always be asked for proof of identity. Genuine callers, if they're from a, a reputable organisation, will be only too happy to provide you with this information and will wait outside while you check it. Um, no caller should be given access to your property uh, until the householder is, is um, assured that they are genuine. So basically, don't leave the door open. Um, how can I prevent cold callers from calling at my home? Basically, what the, the PCSP, the Fermanagh and PCSP, is promoting a scheme to deter cold callers throughout the district. Basically, we are, we're providing residents with stickers, basically thick like this. Um, and, and, and basically, we would ask you to put these up in your window so that the people calling at your door will see this. Um, basically, these, these stickers are designed to make it clear that any would-be cold caller, that they are not welcome. And we would hope that most traders will respect your wishes and the sticker. However, we can't guarantee that everybody will uh, displaying a sticker will not receive visits from cold callers. However, if you do get uh, a visit from a cold caller or um, and they, they ignore the sticker, please let us know. Uh, call the PCSP office on 0300 303 1377 and basically we will try and investigate it. Um, well, one of the things you can do is exercise good doorstep behaviour. First and foremost, never leave your doors unlocked. And um, basically don't leave your keys in safe places, you know, sort of under a doorstep on the, or under your doormat or under a, a flower pot because thieves know these sort of things and basically those are the first places they'll look. Um, basically, before answering the door, make sure your back door is locked. We've had a number of cases in the past where bogus traders or bogus callers would um, come to your front door and engage you in conversation and while they're talking to you at the front door their associate is going around to your back door coming in your back door and stealing your valuables 
uh, in particular, watch out for your, leaving your car keys. We've had a couple of cases where car keys have been stolen. Um, basically, the, the thieves have gone away and come back later in the night and stole your car with your keys. Um, if you have a door chain, remember to use it before opening the door. Uh, basically, the, the PCSP and uh, the police have a number of door chains and we can arrange to get some of those out to you if necessary. Um, always ask callers for identification. If they're genuine callers, they will wait and they will allow you to give you the opportunity to check this. Um, ask them to wait outside the door and close the door uh, and predict if you have a chain, put it on. Um, if, um, if, if you don't want a chain or, or if you want help basically with checking somebody at the door, it's basically there, there is a quick check service. Uh, basically, if you ring the police non emergency number on 101 and uh, if you hit option 3, it will take you through to quick check. Um, basically, a trained operator will answer the phone call and will be able to help you to try and identify who is at your door and whether they are a genuine caller or not. Do not let anyone into your property until you are 100% satisfied as to who they are. Uh, regardless of who they say they are or what they look like, basically don't let them in. A uh, couple of other things to remember. Don't keep large sums of money in the house. Uh, if you need to retain money, keep it somewhere where it's safe, either in a, in a, a locked safe or somewhere where it, where it won't find it. But we prefer you keep it in the bank. Don't leave val valuable items on, on view. Uh, if burglars can see valuable items through your window, it may be a temptation for them to break in at a later stage. So keep valuable items out of sight. And particularly if, uh, if, if we're talking about car keys and that sort of thing, make sure they can't see where your car keys are kept by looking through the window. Because if they look through the window and they see your car keys, uh, they can break in or they can use a number of methods to uh, obtain your car keys. Um, We'd also uh, recommend that people mark their property. Um, basically, the PCSP and, uh, and the police have a number of these property marking pens. Basically, this is uh, um, sort of like invisible ink. Uh, and basically, what you do is you write your postcode and your house number on a particular property, a piece of property, whether it be a television, uh, a piece of jewellery, or whatever. And basically, that is. Um, able to be viewed by the police and um, under an ultra ultraviolet light. Uh, it means two things. One, there's a number of stickers which you can put up, which will hopefully deter people from stealing the stuff in the first place. But also, uh, if or when the police recover the item, they will be able to return it to you. The PCSP recommends that you always say no to call cold callers. We're always keen to be contacted by anybody who receives a cold call. Uh, trading standards officers might also be all able to respond to instances of cold calls, calls or calls by rogue traders uh, and, and in order to help the victim and disrupt the, and take action against any cold callers. So if you let somebody know about it, the chances are that we can um, take action that will make sure that they don't um, move on to the next person. Um, if you happen to get caught off guard, and a cold call man, caller does manage to get into your house and, be, and become suspicious of them, uh, let the police know about it as soon as possible. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, and the sooner uh, we know about it, the better the chance we have of acting to recover your property. As I say, no cold calling stickers uh, are available on request from your local crime prevention officer, who you can contact by calling 101 or by contacting the PCSP office 0300 303 1377 or by contacting the consumer line 0300 123 6262. Thank you very much.